hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i going to show you what is route in laravel route is a way to communicate with your laravel application you can make or create a request of url of your application through the route you need to define route in your laravel application let me show you where you can define it by default laravel provide one directory routes and inside this directory we have a four kind of files api.php channels.php console.php and web.php let me explain why this file and what is use first of all api.php basically laravel categorize all kind of routes in this different different files so when you create a rest api that time you should register your route in this file and if you want to define routes for your web application that time you should define your routes into the web.php and let me show you use of these two file as well if you have a broadcasting channels and your application support any broadcasting channel that time you should register that channel here and same for you can register your commands here and you can call it so this is four kind of files you can use it in your application you no need to create these files these all files default provided by laravel when you create the application and all files register with the service provider you know very well you need to provide everything and register your every service into the providers binding with the application so let me show you and if you don't aware about the service provider and service container we have tutorials for it so please watch it first before this video let me show you that service provider this is the route service provider each and every request go through this service provider and here into the boot method you can see two files routes web.php and routes api.php registered with the this boot method so this is the mandatory and if you want to create your own new file you can create it inside the route directory and register like this here and you can use it so you can categorize your routes inside the route directory for example you need different file for your mobile applications api then you can do it create this file and let me rename and specify mobile mobile.php and you can register it here so let me specify i going to use prefix m1 for mobile i going to use same middleware for mobile rest api as well and let me specify mobile so you can create your own route file as well and register it here as well so this is the routes and how it's work and now let me show you the how many methods supported by the laravel so basically six methods is supported by laravel get post patch put delete options and other methods also supported by the laravel like any and match and resource api resource so for example you have a same route with different method and you are calling same function that time you can specify match method here also you can specify 
any method here and you can specify if your route using only one kind of method for example you just need to return the welcome page with the browser you can specify get method if you want to submit a form you can use post method if you want to update data using form you can specify put and page method and one difference into the put and page you can update everything using the put method and if you want to update specific data then you can use page method but basically get post and delete is widely used and one more resource method is also widely used this method provide basic five kind of routes by default get put page create and delete so if you want to use all five routes you no need to declare just use resource method and it's bind with the default functions into the controller index create store show edit update and destroy so all route point by this method and this is provided by the laravel i showed you any and match you no need to specify any method into the any method but when you use match method you need to specify which method allow when match with this request so you can specify get put so whenever any request coming inside the application with the method get and put it's allow if we getting request with post and clara will throw the method not allowed error so you can use it like that with the match method of the routing so this is one more thing you should remember and also lots of thing provide by the laravel into the routing i will show everything into the sequence and one by one first of all you can specify name to the route using name method so when you specify like that welcome the main benefit is of this naming to the route whenever you want to redirect from anywhere to this route you just use this name for redirect so main benefit is you no need to do any change everywhere when you change the route for example right now this route is home and i specified redirection redirect to home then and now i going to change it welcome so i need to do change manually every place to where we redirect here but if we use naming we no need to do anything because redirect through the routes name so it's not matter what name i use here into the path so i can change any time here welcome to home and home to welcome and any other name so this is the main benefit of naming also you can create prefix groups and specify middleware you can see here the example i specified auth middleware into the users so you can specify middleware using middleware method we will learn what is middleware into the and next tutorial so let me show you how we can call this routes from the browser we can do get call from the browser here so let me try
and you can see a now welcome pages appear and if i change get to post i cannot do poll from the browser let me refresh and you can see get method is not supported for this route because i supported post route so i can do this call using the postman because i cannot do this call from the browser so let me open the postman and show you how we can do post call and specify post and let me make call and preview and i got page expired error because laravel have one feature csrf token so when you call any request and call any routes is checking via middleware one middleware is register inside the kernel dot php let me show you here verify csrf token so each and every blade file have a csrf token i will show you later in deep when we learn about the view and create form that time right now i going to comment this and try to access this page for the testing but we should not comment this middleware because it's protect your application so do not comment it and use this feature so we can call api using get post and method also today i show you how you can get the parameters for example sometime our parameter is dynamic and we need to return the data based on the url so for example i going to pass id into the welcome route and we can get this id here and you can let me return this id again as the output so you can get the idea so let's try and this method is not supported because our routes is changed now i need to specify here one and you can see here one is written i going to specify sales and you can see here you go sales into the output you can specify any of the parameter here one more more for example name specify name and concat it and written second argument as well so now i going to specify one and sales i got the error let me check what happened and you can see here i specified a dollar inside the parameter name that's why we getting the error and now you can see here i got both parameter here so you can easily get any of the parameter into the get method and post method as well it's same for each and every method so that's it for today we will learn more about the routes into the next tutorial so stay tuned thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you